This week, we're all about archery and the extra thrill that bow hunting can add to your next excursion. Let's get things started by checking out the newest top of the line bow package from Cabela's. You know, Cabela's has released several great new bow packages in the past few years, and now the Cabela's Fortitude Compound Bow has hit the market. And straight off the rack, they've got a great package. It comes with sights, rest, uh, a quiver, a rope whisk sling, a, a stabilizer, knock loop, and a carbon peep. And unlike most bows on the market, the Cabela's Fortitude does not require a new camera module to set to your draw length. The rotating modules on the Fortitude offer a wide range of draw length adjustments, and they're built right into the bow. The two perfectly symmetrical cams are something I'm excited about because they're slaved to each other, forcing them to turn in unison. This new technology ensures flawless knock travel and simple tuning for reliable accuracy. And its six and a quarter inch brace height and 32 uh, inch axle to axle length ensures that this versatile weapon won't slow you down during any stop. This bow is so smooth to draw, shoots silently, and performs like all the high quality bows on the market right now. So no matter whether you go with the package or you set it up based on the accessories you want, such as sights or rest or whatever, you're gonna be impressed no matter what you're doing with how this bow performs in the field. And personally, I can't wait to get it in the field, climb up in the stand and knock down my first archery buck of the year with it because in the shooting that I've been doing, it's performing flawlessly. So check it out online at Cabela's or go to a store nearest you. Once you're geared up with the latest and greatest gear, there's still work to be done before you're ready to head out to the blind. Let's rejoin Wade out at deer camp for a few tips on how to prepare for your next archery hunt. You know, another thing you always want to do in an archery type situation is check your equipment. You know, when it comes time to, you know, put the broadheads on, make sure everything's tuned, check your flexings, check your, you know, your loop, check your peep, check your sight, make sure everything is nice and tight, make sure everything is prepared when you get out there because when you're in that deer stand, there's not an archery shop right there next to you. So spend that time to check your gear and shoot, shoot, shoot to where you're ready for that moment of truth and you can put that arrow exactly in that heart. You know, one thing I always like to talk about is the fatigue factor of shooting. You know, I've probably shot 35, 40 times. How many times are you gonna shoot when you go bow hunting? One time. The first shot, make it count. But don't be afraid to shoot a lot while you're trying to get ready to go to the air. Get that muscle memory and work on things. But as you shoot more, don't be surprised. As you shoot a lot of shots one day, your group gets a little crazy like this. So I won't make a lot of adjustments because of that. I'll wait till my next time when I come out and see where my first couple of arrows hit. Because I can tell you right now, after shooting 45 or 50 times, I'm getting a little bit shaky. You know, another thing that I like to spend some time doing is understanding the different ranges. You know, what if I have to shoot in between pins? You know, what's the what's the arrow going to do? Understanding how high or how low I want to at my 20 yard, my 30 yard, my 40 yard pin, so that I'm very in tune with everything that's going on with my arrow, where I need to aim, what's going to happen. You know, so I've got a whole scattering of targets all the way out there to 50 yards right now. I may move into different positions and challenge myself. Shooting at 30 at that bear every time may not be the distance. The shot might be 27, it might be 33. Where's my arrow going to hit in that type of situation? Spend some time shooting some of those off yardage uh, scenarios that you might encounter in the field so you know exactly where this arrow is going to hit. 